Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos, and welcome to another episode of He Rants. I am your host, Felix. Long trousers, guys. Guys, it took me a long time to make this video, man, because once I got the news of this, I started dying. I started dying in laughter because this is something that we could have called from the very, very beginning, right? Um, if you guys ever heard yet, or obviously you guys have because you see the thumbnail, the boy Yeezy, yay himself, is back with Adidas, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Who saw this coming? Who saw this coming? It's crazy. Keep in mind, you guys know Adidas is a German brand, right? So, I mean, <laughs> I would not be surprised. In fact, it would behoove me. I don't know if I even use that word right, behoove. I'm trying to expand my vocabulary. But it would behoove me to, to believe. I'm definitely not using the word behoove, right? Damn it. I wouldn't be surprised if Hitler freaking had a pair of uh, three stripes, if you know what I'm saying. He might be rocking you know them three stripes i don't know why I, I stopped to say three stripes again but you guys understand what i'm saying right you know it's germany all that stuff there there was around when hitler was around stuff so i'm pretty sure he was probably a big supporter of adidas you feel me so i i, I would think there'd be all for the stuff that the boy has been saying and stuff right the allegedly anti-semitic stuff you know what i'm saying i'm not going to go into all the details because you know when you talk about certain people or make jokes about certain people Bad things can happen if you catch my Dizzy deal, right? But here's the thing, right? Um, Adidas, you know, they were about to lose a lot of money because they realized that, my goodness, people don't really wear Adidas in the first place. It's, it used to be only like, what? I don't know. Who, who can I even, what athletes can I even use that was wearing Adidas? I guess Kobe back in the day uh, before he knew better and then switched over to Nike and whatnot. I think Damian Lillard, too, you know. Dam Damian Lillard is good, but I mean, Come on, man. <laughs> like, come on now. Um, other than that, I mean, like, nobody really cared about Adidas, you know? You come out with the Adidas shell toes, the classics and stuff like that, I guess, I guess. But if you're not Run DMC, I, I don't think people are seeing you like, oh, yeah, there's the guy. He came out with the shell toes, you know? No, but if you came out with a nice pair of white, all white Air Force Ones, you know, the white Coquina bricks on your feet, um, you probably have a better chance of getting a young lady's with JJ. That's just might be my opinion, but almost almost guarantee that's facts, right? So here it comes. News comes on the heels of Adidas announcing they expected to take a $1.3 million hit as a result of dropping the controversial entertainer earlier this month. Uh, the adjusted amount was way more than first projected. <laughs> uh, with Adidas initially saying that the split would cost them more than $250 million in profit and $500 million in lost revenue, according to the company. That is crazy. $1.3 billion. They definitely were not. <laughs> they were like, wait a minute, we're losing what? No, crunch the numbers, guys. Crunch the numbers again. What was that? $1.3 I thought you all said $250 million. Well, pick him on Nancy. Call that Negro. Put him back on the line. So they didn't even wait a year. A few months, they were like, yo, we need Ye. I want you guys to understand, Ye is an innovator, right? You know, everybody's going crazy about those Astro Boy big red boots and everything, right? But people forget they were making fun of Kanye when he was coming out with his big black boots, you know, ahead of the game. So this guy is a fashion icon, guys. You guys insult him. He's ahead of the curve. He knows what sells, right? Uh, so, yeah, it says the number speaks for itself. So we're, a, we are currently not... So uh, performing the way we should, said CEO Bajorn. I don't know. He, his name is. It looks like it's B the Jorn. It's B J O R N. But the O has a has a dash. Or has a like a slash in through it, like a Zorro or something. So I don't know. Bajorno. I don't know. I'm just gonna say Bajorn Golden about the blow to Adidas profit margins. 2023 will be the year of transition to set the base to again be a growing and profitable company. <laughs> yeah, right. Who's no one is checking for Adidas. The only reason we were checking for Adidas was because of Yeezy. Because of Ye himself. And he let's keep it a band too. I'm just gonna keep it a band. Yeezys have slowly been falling off. Let's just be real. They've been slowly been falling off, right? They were keeping y'all afloat and they're slow. So now what are y'all going to do? 
you're going to have to sign Michael Jackson. That's the only way you're going to have to drop the 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 the, the diamond stepper supreme shell toes or something or the Samoans. I don't know. So that's the only way. The Elvis Presley sparkly gentles. I don't know. No one is no one is checking for Adidas, bro. Like, what, is this guy delusional? Whatever drug he's on, I want a piece of it, bro. But I guess you're supposed to say that as CEO, right? You want to make sure the shareholders, stocks, all that stuff is looking sexy, right? You want to make sure, hey guys, come on, buy the stocks, <laughs> buy the stocks. We need to, we need to elevate, right? There's nothing from growth, right? We're just gonna get all growth. Yeah, y'all can hold my nuts, all right? You can hold my black, not hairy, because I shave my nuts, nuts. I don't know why I said that. That sentence, you, as you guys can tell, I'm just all over the place. Uh, today we'll be working, creating a brand heat improve our product engineering better serve our distrib uh, distribution and ensure that adidas is a great and fun place to work adidas has all the ingredients to be successful a great brand great people fantastic partners and global infrastructure second to none here okay enough of this bs here's the thing guys capitalism is a strong thing i will tell you what <laughs> it makes you lose everything and can make you gain a lot at the same time right see Yay lost almost everything, right? But capitalism came to the rescue and said, listen, Yay, we got you. Adidas is going to lose just as much, probably even more than you. So here we're going to do, we're going to make sure you guys partner back up, right? So Adidas has said that they are not releasing any new silhouettes for Easy Brand. They're pretty much just saying, listen, we're going to bring Ye back just to sell the remaining amount of product that we have. Because, you know, a lot of people said, listen, we're not buying the Yeezy Liz Yeezys. It's straight up like that. We're not buying the Yeezy Liz Yeezys. Yeezys. So you guys have to make a decision. Either bring Ye back and we can buy the Yeezys or you guys can sell the Yeezy Liz Yeezys and get no sales. They're going to be sitting at stores. The choice is yours. And they made a decision. They made the decision. So, yeah, I'm, I'm confused. So, uh, I'm, I'm seeing that Ye is just like, all right, cool. I'm just going to come back because they agreed to the deal. Come back. Ye wants to get his money out the way. You feel me? But I'm telling Adidas, if you guys are listening to this, which I doubt you guys are, but you guys should be. I want y'all to understand that once you guys eventually drop Ye, you're finished. You're done. All right? Y'all going to still be alive. Y'all still But it's not going to be like... It's not gonna be like Adidas and Nike, right? It's not gonna be like before. Like, remember it was Adidas and Nike? You know who's gonna take y'all spot? New Balance, all right? And then people gonna say, Felix, you're just from, you're from the DMV, that's why you keep saying New Balance. Nah, nah, New Balance is gonna take your spot, all right? And y'all gonna sit back, right? Before y'all slowly dwindle away. But don't worry, you're gonna have company. You're gonna be right there with Reebok and one. You know what I'm saying? Those guys. Reebok still exists. I don't know if N1 still exists, but you'll be over there sitting on the bench with them, having fun. All right, that's what y'all gonna do. Y'all, y'all so much against anti-Semitic stuff. But the moment your money went down, I was like, man, that that anti-Semitic man. <laughs> hey, let's. Hey, listen. Hey, let's be real. I mean, like I said, we're a German brand. Did we really ever like the Jews? I mean, <laughs> like, come on, right? Like, come on, guys. Come on, man. You guys just let all that stuff go out the window. It hasn't even been six months. <laughs> it hasn't even been six months. That's crazy. 2023 just started. And y'all did it in Black History Month. The timing, I guess. I don't know. Y'all wanted to wait to the very end. Nah, nah, we got to do this Black History Month, right? Right? It's still hot. Bring back a black man to the joint. We, we didn't want to do it at the beginning. Do it at the end. End Black History Month with a bang, right? F out of here, guys. Hey, listen. I'm not really buying any more uh, Yeezys. At the moment, you feel me? I feel like I have enough pairs. I've, I've gone crazy with the amount of pairs I have. You guys know I'm a big time sneaker head. So I'm going to back up. If y'all want to go ahead and do it, y'all going to do it. Support the man, yay. Uh, but at the same time, uh, Adidas, y'all are clowns. Y'all just dropping them. All the other, other people are clowns too. Sketchers, I ain't forget about y'all sketchers. Y'all can hold a dick. Uh, it is what it is, man. Hey, but that's all I got to say on this, man. If you guys stay this long, I appreciate you. I love you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as with the post notification. That way, you always be one of the first to hear the voice. Same time, leave a like because I'm so damn insecure. Those likes definitely let me know I'm doing a stand-up job. Same time, you got to buy the merch. Mofo. Men offering females orgasms. Because we're so humble. Look at the description box below. That's all I got to say. Peace and blessings. You ugly mofos. And I'm out.